Welcome to comeonindia.com portal where you can find prelims, mains and current affairs online lectures for 2018 IAS examination and go to the IAS 2018 foundation course or simply you can search here search for IAS 2018 foundation course here in the search box you will land in this page where we are providing the sample assignments and date wise updates so click on the August 2017 Today we have published 8 current affairs video lectures in the August 1st The first topic is India is the third largest beef exporter in the world If you click the article it will take you to the video lecture If you click the video you can watch the video lecture Recently FAO and OECD together released their report called as Agriculture Outlook Report. Here you can see the video lecture that we published. Just to play the video lecture. In the name of cow vigilantism, you can say... According to the report, India became the third Largest beef exporter, first rank goes to Brazil, second rank goes to Australia and third rank goes to India based on the amount of beef export. We are going to FAO and OECD. FAO stands for Food and Agriculture Organization and OECD stands for Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development. Now let's go to the second video lecture we published today. It's about Right to Free and Compulsory Education Amendment Bill 2017. If you click on the video, you can play the video lecture and the issue is that recently the right to education to SVR, will reduce the volume of the players so that we can speak. Recently government of India has brought right to education amendment bill 2017. According to that, it gives more time to the unqualified teachers to become qualified. In 2009, the act was passed which gives free and compulsory education to children aged between 6 to 14 years. It is one of the very important exam points that you might have studied. And because of the compulsory education, many unqualified teachers, even the teachers who completed school become a teacher and government given 5 years time for the unqualified teacher to become the qualified one. Still, lacks of teachers didn't qualify for that, so government extended the deadline by other four years. So complete the video lecture and after that we'll move to the third video lecture that we have published today it is about Project 75, Project 75 I. It is one of the important topic for IAS 2018 prelims examination and click on the video lecture so that we can play the video. Recently, government is planning to spend nearly 70,000 crore rupees for purchasing the or constructing six, six advanced submarines in India. What is Project 75 and Project 75 I? We discussed about this in detail in this video lecture. Simply Project 75 means India signed agreement with France to purchase six Scorpion submarine. So don't forget Scorpion means is a submarine of France that India is purchasing under Project 75 agreement. Project 75 I means India will spend nearly 70,000 crore rupees to indigenously develop six advanced submarines with the help of foreign company and technology transfer. So complete the video lecture and after that we will move to the fourth video lecture that we published today is about Udupi Ramachandra Rao, simply called as UR Rao, who is the grand old man of Indian space program. In GS paper 3, we have a syllabus called as Contribution of Indian Scientists to the Development of Science in India and its Applications. One question in the coming mains GS paper 3, you may get a question on Udupi Ramachandra Rao and his contribution to the space science in India and how his contribution led to the development of PSLV and GSLV, especially the cryogenic engine. 
we explained everything in this lecture especially he was a chairman of isro and space commission for 10 years and during that period he helped immensely for the development of aslv pslv and initiation of the gslv after completing the fourth video lecture we will move to the fifth video lecture we published is about non putrefying properties of ganga river and role of the bacteriophages the issue is that when an organic matter gets deposited in the river water means the bacteria present in the river water will decompose the organic matter reach to the water bodies and a foul smell will occur but when organic matter gets deposited in the ganga river is not getting decayed that's why it is called as non putrefying character of the ganga river recently national commission for ganga river constituted a committee to study about the non putrefying character of the ganga river and so we explained about neri and we also explained about national mission for clean ganga and also we explained about the possible reason for non putrefying character of ganga river especially about bacteriophages bacteriophages are nothing but type of virus that eats bacteria and also we linked use of bacteriophages in controlling the drug resistant bacteria especially for tuberculosis bacteriophages if developed will pay for the development of new medicine so we have explained in detail about bacteriophage then finally we explained about national mission for clean ganga after completing this fifth video lecture now let's move to the sixth video lecture that we published is about deep sea fishing scheme blue revolution and bottom trawling method click on the article why the topic came in the news recently prime minister of india visited tamil nadu and announced deep sea fishing scheme and 1500 crore rupees has been awarded for this scheme in this background we covered a video lecture on this topic and also we discussed what is bottom trawling method what is bottom trawling method what are all the various drawbacks of the method why we need to go for deep sea fishing method and also we explained about pox strait gulf of mannar why fisherman issue is between india and sri lanka still not able to solved and how deep sea fishing can help india and sri lanka to reduce the tension or to overcome the problem of fisherman issue after that we discussed about bottom drawing method how it works with the help of this image and also we have discussed about deep sea fishing how it is done steps taken by government to promote the deep sea fishing etc after completing this video lecture we will go to the seventh video lecture we publish on the current affairs is about advance pricing agreement transfer pricing and arms length price recently central board of direct taxes has signed some agreements for unilateral advance pricing agreement in this background we discussed what is advance price agreement what are the various types of advance pricing agreement and also we discussed what is transfer pricing and what is arms length pricing what is the importance of advance pricing agreement especially it gives tax certainty to the tax payers and if any uncertainty occurs they can roll, roll back for the advance pricing agreement so we this is one of the important video lecture for 2018 prelims examination after that we provide eighth and last video lecture on the malaria drug prevents fetus from developing zika virus in our earlier video lectures in plenty of video lectures we said zika means you have to remember two points it is a jitte mosquito there is a day biting mosquito and two important diseases like microcephaly there is a small head so baby is born with a small head and second is guillain barre syndrome these are the points we are repeatedly mentioning in our video in this video we discussed 
what is malaria drug that can prevent entry of the Zika virus into the fetus and that acts at the placenta and we also discussed what is placenta and uh, how Zika virus crosses the placenta and causes microcephaly in the fetus. Also we discussed about microcephaly and Guillain Barry syndrome. After completing the video lecture, 8 videos are over and also we provided one main question for unsighting practice. Like that every day we will post 2 videos from the polity and 2 videos from the GS paper 2 and 8 videos from the current affairs and one daily prelims test will be there in our online prelims software. This is to inform our IAS 2018 basic and advanced course students that we have put up the August month schedule. Please go through it. This is the August month schedule. We also put the plan of action for polity. In the August month, we are going to complete the polity video lecture and half of the GS paper 2 will be over in the August month. In the September month, we will cover geography and remaining half of the GS paper 2. This is the first two months plan and plan for October month will be updated later. So every day visit our website and watch the video lecture and attend our daily prelims test so that you can learn comprehensively. And the cost of the course is for basic course it is 9950 and for the advanced course the cost is 30,000 rupees. Under advanced course you will get the personal support, main answer writing evaluation by our expert team and personal interviews support, DAF analysis everything will be done by our team. If you are interested to join our course, visit our website comeonindia.com where you can see the payment link or if you have any queries, you can whatsapp to us. Our whatsapp number is 809-809-9922 and also you can drop an email. Our email id is upsc at the rate of comeonindia.com.